Okay, let's now go to our all-star panel, Sinclair political commentator, Amisha Cross, member of the President's National Security Education Board, host of America First on Salem Radio and Sinclair Media contributor, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, University of Maryland lecturer, Dr. Jason Nichols. Dr. Jason Nichols, let me start with you on this. They keep finding ballots in Georgia. They keep finding ballots in Trump country, Georgia. I'm not gonna be sit here and say this is gonna change the election, but here's my concern. We have a big, big event coming up, January 5th. Uh, there'll be runoffs for both of the Senate seats in Georgia. Is that going to be a safe vote count in, in January? Well, you know, I, I've been claiming that Georgia has had issues with its elections in 2018. It was completely dismissed by Republicans when uh, Stacey Abrams lost that state. People were saying, oh, no, the election was secure. Everything's OK. And then today, now they're saying, well, Georgia's not safe. Uh, I think it's safer than it was in 2018. But I think that at the same time, uh, there need to be some efforts to make sure that we don't lose ballots or ballots don't get counted. I want every American's ballot to count. I don't want to stop counts in certain places and keep counting in others, which is the hypocrisy that's been coming from the right. I think that we need for Georgia to get its act together uh, the people who are incompetent, who are not getting it done, need to be moved aside, and they need to bring in people that are actually going to make sure that uh, people's votes are being counted. Uh, Sebastian, let's talk not about who's going to win in January, and we all have our, our, our opinions on who's going to turn out the vote. Let's talk about that election, the actual vote, the counting of the votes. Are we going to be uh, okay with the, with the results of the January runoffs for both of those Senate seats, no matter who wins? I just think it's fascinating that Jason, like he's reading some, you know, DNC central talking points. He says, I want every ballot to count, just like Biden said, I want every vote to count. Wrong, Jason. Wrong, Beijing Biden. We want every legal ballot to be counted. That's all the president wants. So very interesting choice of words there. When it comes to the irregularities, how is it that thousands of votes here Hundreds of votes there, thousands in the, 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 the Dominion voting system are found, but they're never found for Biden. Why is it that they're found and misplaced for Donald Trump? It's so strange that everything seems to be going in one direction. Anything that is suspicious always points in one direction, and I find it more than a little strange, Eric. All right, uh, and I mean, here's what, the, for our audience's sake, the, the way it breaks down. The last two Senate seats to be decided are both in Georgia. Uh, the, this, the current the incumbents are Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue. If the Democrats flip both of those seats, if they flip both of them, there'll be a 50-50 tie in the Senate. Therefore, the vice president, assuming Kamala Harris is the vice president, she will break the tie for the Democrats. So they have the House, they'll have the Senate, and they'll have the, have the White House tall, tall order to flip both of them simultaneously. Or is it not for, for you Democrats? No, Eric, you're absolutely correct with that. Um, Democrats are highly aware, not only in Georgia, but across the nation of the vital importance of these seats. But I will say that this is a turnout race. I'm not going to get into the conservative conspiracy theories about there being illegal votes. We know that that has not been a founded truth. What we do know is that this is a turnout race. And quite frankly, um, everyone is trying to throw everything right now in Georgia from both parties to try to salvage this. And I think that for Democrats, this is a uphill battle, to be honest. Um, these are two prized Senate seats. Um, we see that, you know, Kelly Loeffler has said that she's going to debate her opponent, where we see that that's not happening for David Perdue. Uh, we're also watching the fact that the majority of those folks that were cast in the previous election, the, uh, the November presidential election, have been by young people, by diverse voters. The move to get those same voters out a second time during the, uh, during the early voting cycle, which falls right dead smack in the middle of the holiday season and Christmas, is going to be very hard. Those college students are not going to be on campus anymore. They're going to be at home. This poses a significant challenge for Democrats. And I think that right now, um, full disclosure, my fiance is with the ACLU. They are trying their very darndest to make sure that there are not any um, voter irregularities, but also that turnout matches what we saw right. before. And it's a tall order. So, uh, Sebastian, final thought, got half a minute. And it, boy, is there going to be a, a lot of money spent in Georgia over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I think it's hilarious that Amisha says the conservative conspiracy theories. 
we don't need theories. We've got leading Democrats in the Washington Post and the New York Times telling Democrats to move to Georgia now so they can vote, which, by the way, is a felony. To move to a state to influence an election is a federal crime. You've got Democrats on record saying that that's what Democrats should do. No theories, Amisha. Facts straight from the horse's mouth. Politics, my friends, is a blood sport. Thank you, panel. Thanks, Eric.